What's up gamers? So I got kind of stuck on the ladder playing Temple Warrior. So I kind of changed it up a little bit. Turned into a Control Warrior deck and started having a lot more luck with it. Basically you just control the board the whole game. And by the end of the game you've played enough big minions and just outlast your opponent. That you just win the game due to them having lack of cards. Or you finally whittled them down enough. I didn't want to really show some of the super long games because that can get boring. But I do have a couple games here that kind of showcase how good it can be. So enjoy. Check back tomorrow for another video. Peace. All right, another new day, another new deck. We're moving on from Owo to Uwu. This might be kind of slow against a Paladin. Uh, I think I keep one shield block. And no, I assume he's gonna play Murlocs. I'll just get everything low that I can. Survive till turn seven, till we Doctor Seven. Easy. Coin this baby out. Oh, both of those are really good. I'll take the three four. Give me something to do. Or the the two four. All we have to do is draw Warpath. By the time he decides to tip the scales and we win. Pretty simple game plan. And that's even easier. Kind of insane. Solid draw. There's Warpath. It's not worth using right now. That is, though, he can't kill it with only one of them, so I can come in with Mummy next turn and clean up crew. He should at least swing that in. Yeah. Got two warp paths. Solid. I ain't gonna let that live. If he wants to make that trade, that's fine, but I wanna get more value out of the mummy. There's the first lens. Should be fine. Got two war paths. Justice demands retribution. I will crush you. No I'd rather him not tip the scales until at least. Yeah, if he tips it this fine, that's this turn. That's okay because I can play this three times. Should kill everything. Okay, so he has both in his hand. solid there's no reason to play this because I don't have any taunts so it's just really bad value at this point I did get one charge off of it Hit him there. We're clears board. This deck is super one dimensional. It is super good at first, and then people kind of built around it. Now it's not very good. I'm almost out of cards. I know he has Chef Nomi in his hands. Because that's what made Tip to Scales cost seven. So I'd have to kind of blast through that. But I have Brawl, so that's okay. Let's 
Easy. All right, well now he's gonna chef Nomi and fill his board. Which is fine, because only one of them will survive. Me think. Reporting for duty. That's better for me. Gives me a turn to buff up my taunts. Your wish is my suggestion. It's kind of scary though. I don't know what he's going to get out of that. It's tough. I don't know if I'm a Dr. Boom now. Now I'll buff up the taunts for now. With two of those, once he uses Chef Boom, there's absolutely nothing he can do to me. Well, there's nothing you can do anyway, but... Interesting. That could be a problem, actually. So I gotta deal with it now. Could get really out of hand. If he got Dream from that, that'll give him two Chef Nomis and then it becomes a real problem. Unless I draw the other Brawl. He did get Dream from it. Wow. Lucky guy. I really needed to have Dr. Boom in play before now, it kinda kinda sucks. I can probably stall him out for fatigue. He's gonna fatigue for three now. He has two turns left. Only have to survive two turns, these will buy me some time. Six times seven, forty-two. That give me a thirty-five. That give me a forty. Just gotta stall. I think I win because he can't kill me this turn, so he dies on his next draw. I should be fine. Well played. There's nothing he can do, he dies next time. The yep, there it is. Murloc Paladin's bad confirmed. Give me your star. 